Go people. <coughs> Just another quick one. Um, Harry and Meghan bullshit. Fucking hell, man. Now Piers has fucking spat his dummy out. Um, it's just a fucking big show, you know, it's all, it's all drama, it's all divisive, you either like Piers or you don't, you either fucking stand on his side or you stand on fucking Megan's side, do you know what I mean, it's all divisive bollocks, they're all in it together, I don't believe a word of it, it's just all fucking acting, you know what I mean, that's what I believe of that, but... The interesting thing is people were saying, like, did you see Oprah had an ankle tag on? So I like, looked, I was like, because I ain't watched the interview, I ain't going to watch it. I just watched, uh, I just read a brief sort of transcript to some of the things they said um, and saw a few clips. That's it. I'm not going to sit and watch that drivel, fuck's sake. But um, I, so, I, so I Googled it and I looked and I could see, like, at, like Oprah's uh, Oprah's um, ankle bracelet. So like you know, if you've got an ankle monitor, like as if she's on house arrest, blah blah blah. But let's look at it like this, right? If you want to hide that, you don't cross your leg up so that everyone can see it. To me, she wants people to see that. If you want to hide a fucking leg bracelet, you fucking wear long trousers or you keep the shot above her legs, or you make sure that whenever she's shown that uh, leg, it's not, it, it, it's her legs cross the other way, or it's hidden, or whatever. There's many ways you can hide it. It's fucking TV, it's Hollywood shit. But she's blatantly going, look, I've got a big square thing on my fucking leg. So to me, she's telling everyone, first of all, I'm like, like everyone else, Fuck, she's got an ankle bracelet. Blah, blah, blah. Whoa, 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 hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Whoa, chill the fuck out. Why is she showing it? Why is she showing it? And there's another, I've, seen, I've Googled other pictures, and there's previous pictures with her cooking with, like, jogging bottoms on, but you can still see it. And um, Ellen Degenerate, whatever her fucking name was, um, her wearing one as well. And I'm like, again, sort of like in jogging bottoms, but you know, you can still see it. And someone's captioned, oh, they wear an ankle bracelet. Like, like, they fucking, they work in, they could easily hide this shit. And the TV people wouldn't want to show that. They wouldn't want that fucking known. So why are they showing it? Why are they showing it? Now, I'm not sure, but my instincts and my intuition is, is to stir the Q, uh, the Q shit. It's to fucking say, look, they're on house arrest. They're being captured. They're, t they're taking down the celebrities, blah, blah, blah. Which I never believed any of that shit. Because it just didn't seem right to me. Arresting the celebrities. What's all that bollocks about? You know what I mean? It's like, I'm not saying, I, I still, as I still, still stand, I still stand by, I still believe that Trump's doing like good work. But I might be wrong with that. But like, I still believe he's doing good work. And then, of course, that ties this ties in with the Q stuff, you know. And you're sort of like, well, where is this? So it is very smoke and mirrors. But you know, they like to confuse. It's the tactic, isn't it? No one really knows what the fuck is going on. You're just confused because you're like, what the fuck? It's part of this fucking psychology of war, isn't it? Psychology of war. Confuse your fucking enemy to the point they don't know what the fuck's going on and who's what and who's good and who's bad and whatever do you know what i mean so it's like um but i don't believe that if she's on house arrest and her tv pro people are there and her manager and whoever else they won't want that to be seen so if they want if that's been seen it's for a reason so my my point with all this as i said in my previous videos about when the q stuff didn't happen or whatever don't follow none of this blindly you know follow with your intuition you know this is the matrix and they are fucking controlling our, our minds with the information and some of it's truth and some of it isn't and that's what we have to decipher and the only way we can decipher that is by centering ourselves listening and and, and using our third eye and feeling what's right rather than just letting the media direct us or letting 
for the social media directors. Anyway, something to think about, innit? Peace!